Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today we're going to be talking about what might truly kill Dead by Daylight, and that being the Give Up Epidemic. I know I've already made a video about this, but I kind of lumped it in with like the DC uh, penalty situation as well. So I kind of wanted to give it its own little air right here, because it's an issue that a lot of us are dealing with right now, and that being that people are just giving up on first hook like like crazy right now. And honestly, you know, I kind of didn't want to make a video about this because, well, you know, <laughs> the reason that it is happening in, in, in mass is because it, it, it has become a situation. It has become something that people are reporting on and panicking about. So uh, it's spreading. <laughs> it's essentially spreading, which is uh, not great and not ideal. Um, <laughs> but I, I kind of wanted to talk about it because, yeah, so yeah, let's talk about it. First off, I want to issue an apology to Choi, because I remember I reacted to a Choi video a while ago where Choi made the forecast that uh, Dead by Daylight might be going into the Dark Ages because of people giving up and having a give up epidemic. And I was uh, skeptical of uh, skeptical of that in the time that uh, that video came out. And I'm wrong. <laughs> My name is Brandon. I'm wrong because like you were right. You forecasted that. And I will hold that L because, man, whew, it's like it's really hard to get like a full game without somebody giving up on hook at some point and honestly like giving up on hook doesn't agitate me as a practice by itself because like if you know we're at four or five gens and somebody's already dead like somebody's already sacrificed like then you're not gonna win that game <laughs> like unless you're like the best survivors on the entire planet like you're, you're not going to win that. That's just not going to happen. So if you give up on first hook when somebody's already sacrificed, like you do you, right? Like go next, go, go enter a more, a game you actually have a stand a chance of winning, <laughs> you know, um, that, that makes sense to me. That tracks. However, what is instead happening is that people are giving up on first hook for basically like no reason. People go down slightly too quickly and they just like, up on hook and it's happening almost every game it's to the point where it's actually getting more common to have games where somebody does this than it is to have a normal game of dead by Daylight that plays out with all the players staying inside the game uh it's literally like every other game now that i'm dealing with this the reason this is a really big problem is that a while ago uh behavior introduced dc bots because dead by daylight used to have a very severe problem of when people would dc when they would disconnect doing it the the the, the normal way of just di disconnecting and giving up uh, uh, that would just result in a 3v1 <laughs> that would just result in a 3v1 at like four or five gens and it, you know if you're if you've ever played survivor watch somebody played survivor 3v1s are extremely hard to come back from if you end up in a 3v1 at like one or two gens it, you may be able to pull that off but especially at like three to five gens it's definitely not going to be realistic to win that match with just one teammate down um and essentially that situation just happened all the time before dc bots were allowed because at least a dc bot will sit on a gen it will do gens. At least the DC bot will go get saves. It will heal you. So it's better than nothing. I essentially treat it as like having like, I essentially treat it like having three and a half teammates. They're like a half player, um, which is better than just having just the three players out of a four person team to have three and a half. But essentially what people are doing now is they're kind of like creating that situation like artificially where they are creating the old DC situation where somebody actually DC'd uh, that you, they would just end up with, you know, a three V one very, very early on by just skedaddling out on first hook. If you missed that video that I talked about this, cause it was kind of near the end. So that's, that's fair. Uh, my idea was to make giving up on hook, like the, like, cause giving up on hook is essentially in the game's lore, like the survivor realizing that nobody is coming for them. So they are taking a last ditch effort, a last ditch chance. To, to rip themselves off the hook potentially and potentially get free. Um, there's a reason it's just 4% because it's not supposed to work, <laughs> right? It's like, realistically, it's not supposed to work. But thematically, it makes sense because they, they just, you know, instead of just, you know, hitting second stage, they're like, no, I will get myself off as like one last heroic uh, bound. So I think to make it more in line with that in terms of like the lore and thematic uh, gameplay is to take the give up option and move it to like the end of the timer timers are now 70 seconds in dead by daylight so i'd make it like at like 50 55 seconds then the give up on hook option like procs because then it would be something that you mostly use in the event that oh okay so like my teammates are either uh slugged being chased by the killer all sitting on gens and forgetting about me nobody is coming to get me so this is literally my last ditch effort this is my last ditch option is to yeet off the hook here. Um, I know it's only 4%, but it's better than nothing. 
Because right now, just the availability to do it early, it's just it's just a give up simulator, which is not what that's intended for, and does not you know fit <laughs> what the, the 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 devs had in mind for that mechanic. So if you shift it to the end of the hook timer instead of at the beginning, I feel like that would do a lot to solve that issue. I think it's really really funny because a lot of people think that the, like that the give up epidemic is like not a problem because it's it you know there's something to be said about like. You know, it's a symptom of people not enjoying the game, which means we need to look at the way the game is being conducted um, and not trying to sound too much like a uh, like an old man shouting at the sky, like a DVD boomer here. But like this is the most balanced game's ever been. Like if you're complaining about a certain killer or a certain perk, like <laughs> you wouldn't believe the things that I've lived through, you know. <laughs> you wouldn't you you know I had, I played during a, a era where ruin and dying had to be cleansed five times five times in order to get rid of it because undying used to save your totem until there were no more totems <laughs> which was unreal and we're not talking like current ruin because like current ruin has a much lower percentile so imagine ruin but stronger and also having to cleanse five totems to get rid of it unreal unreal that's uh, that, that's not telling the whole story because like it had the potential to do that it wasn't consistent but you know what i'm saying i lived during an era where pain res uh had no stacks and as long as a killer just kind of like hung out near a scourge hook they could just force trades and just get infinite damage <laughs> off of their pain reses it was crazy op used to not be proportional op used to be flat damage just like pain res is which is uh, wild absolutely wild for something that you can uh, farm infinitely right because it's like unlike pain res which currently has stacks and goes away pop pop it's just anytime you hook somebody you get a use back so something to like that to do flat damage instead of proportional damage that's really good especially for high mobility killers and if we look on the the, the survivor side of things like you know i i as killer don't have to deal with bnp's instant completing gens i don't have to deal with dead hard literally granting you invincibility and distance i don't have to deal with ds not deactivating for like any reason so people can literally greet a gen ds me get off and then go finish the gen in my face like there's a lot of stuff <laughs> that like used to be so awful and so nasty that's no longer in the game um so uh it's i don't know it's just like a, it's a perspective i don't understand right like i'm not saying things can't be fun, unfun in dbd because there's definitely stuff that's unfun in dbd right um plenty of things i don't enjoy about the game uh that's still in the game but i'm just saying from the perspective of like it's so bad now that i just gotta be quitting every game it's like I mean, did you know nurse used to blink seven times <laughs> did you know that <laughs> did you know that was a thing <laughs> and I, I don't think i don't i don't know i feel like the modern dvd player like would not last like a single game in old dead by daylight like they just like i i don't think we understand how good we have it in 2024 but once again that's just like dvd boomer talk so but yeah i feel like in terms of dead by daylight something that can actually seriously harm the game long term and potentially get the game to slowly die off over time as if we literally cannot get a match <laughs> like we literally cannot get a full normal match of dead by daylight because people just are quitting in mass so realistically this is something that behavior should look at and try to adjust in some way i gave my suggestion hopefully they go with that but you know if you guys have any uh, suggestions of your own that you think would uh, do uh, well at fixing this uh, give up epidemic, I would love to hear them down in the comments below. But I feel like that's it for today's video, friends. So I will see you in the next video. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.